Food. Glorious food. Well, it's not always glorious. Sometimes the food we find on our plates is definitely not fit for consumption. From restaurant and grocery store infestations to truly appalling fast food hijinks, let's take a look at some of the grossest things that happen to your food when you're not looking. McMaggots. Ah, uh, McDonald's, everyone's favorite. And for good reason, too. They have all the classics. Big Macs, McNuggets, McMaggots. Mmm, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. Oh wait, McMaggots? Well, unfortunately, this was the case for one unlucky customer in 2019. This Aussie's day was promptly ruined as he tucked into his scrumptious burger, only to find an infestation of maggots writhing inside his meal. Now, I'm sure you can imagine how disgusted the guy was, but let's just roll the clip captured at that very moment anyway and see his reaction. Wow. Oh. Look at him, you can see him moving. That is absolutely disgusting. 2018, and this is the kind of health conditions that I have to accept from McDonald's. Not happy at all. Look at them all. How many frank burgers have I eaten from you people? Wow, he really wasn't happy. But that's totally understandable. I mean, seeing those little maggots wriggling in and out of the meat, bleh. And even worse, he'd already eaten some of it. Poor fella. Except he's not the only one. Yep, an Australian mom found herself cringing at these critters after buying her young son a Happy Meal. After posting the incident online and vowing to never touch fast food again, the mom's accusations were undermined by the fast food giant themselves, as McDonald's claimed, it is very unlikely this occurred in our restaurant. We have great confidence in our food safety and handling procedures. Which roughly translates to, who, me? Nope, couldn't possibly have been my fault. So while it seems the Golden Arches vehemently denies McMaggots are actually being served, the evidence seems to suggest otherwise. Only one thing remains certain. Not all Happy Meals have happy endings. Bird food. In 2015, shoppers at the Walmart in Chicopee, Massachusetts were astonished to find a peckish group of sparrows pecking away at the grocery store meat. Dude, all that is bad. No, that whole not itself. Yeah. In their defense, I've always thought minced beef looks a little like worms, so they were probably just confused. Still, Rhonda Kitchen, the woman who captured the disgusting scene, stated that she'll never buy food from there ever again. And seeing those little beaks pecking away at the raw meat, who can blame her? Walmart officials responded to the situation saying, the impacted product was immediately removed from shelves and disposed of. Professionals were also brought in to remove the birds. In all, 17 birds were trapped and released. So with their meat heist brought to a halt, Walmart may have won this time, but it's only a matter of time before the birds attack again. Sleep with one eye open, Walmart. You too, Rhonda. Deep Fried Rat. Coming to theaters this fall. Ratatouille 2, The Great Grease Trap. Set in a Texas Whataburger, this heartwarming tragedy tells the tale of a little rat who made his way into a restaurant in 2019 and met his fate in the deep fryer. And while I don't think Pixar will be picking this script up anytime soon, Seriously, they've stopped replying to my emails. The story is still a mixture of hilarious and a little sad. Oh, and it's 100% true, and I've got the footage to prove it. Between me and you, here's a little premiere. Oh, man, I'm all this chilling, bro. Oh, man. Oh, they, this girl for to try to catch this. As he quickly became the center of attention, this little guy seemed to get stage fright and tried to scurry out of sight. But the lady in the pink had other ideas. Work it, bro. Oh, Lord. Oh, it went in the green. That is fraud, guys. As they tussled, the rat decidedly took a leap of faith right into the fryer. Southern fried rat, anybody? 
Understandably, the customers were a little disgruntled. After sacrificing the rat to the fast food gods, pandemonium broke loose with equal parts of disgust and amusement. All the while, some poor rat was getting crispier by the second. It probably comes as no surprise that this rodent restaurant was closed, cleansed, and cleared of any of little Stanley's family. Oh yeah, I named him. R.I.P. Stanley. Is this vegan? Back in 2018, a group of hungry diners made reservations at Carlini a restaurant in England where chef Laura Goodman cooks the meals. They ate their food and left, but the following evening, Laura posted this to Facebook. Pious, judgmental vegan, who I spent all day cooking for, has gone to bed, still believing she's a vegan. Which, reading between the lines, would lead most people to assume that Laura adulterated their food with animal produce. From an ethical standpoint, this is clearly out of line. But even worse, the vegan customer might well have even had special dietary requirements or allergies governing their veganism. Although this chef initially bragged that she'd spiked a vegan a few hours ago, she soon retracted these statements, instead claiming, I am really deeply sorry. There was no meat products added to the dishes. Of course, her attempt to backpedal in the face of being exposed wasn't quite sufficient, and ultimately she resigned. So fear not, vegans, she won't be striking again. Chinese street food. Street food is tasty, inexpensive, and provides flavorsome offerings from all different countries and cultures. However, it seems some people have maybe interpreted the phrase street food too literally. A San Francisco Chinese restaurant, Lucky River, faced scrutiny back in 2014 after being caught beating their meat on the sidewalk. When confronted about why one of its staff members was slamming totally uncovered meat onto the sidewalk, management explained they were simply trying to tenderize it, with reports claiming that the street they were pounding onto was filled with cigarette butts, gum, and general grime, and with other rumored health code violations under their belt, it's no surprise that Lucky River was soon under the microscope. They were issued an order to rectify the problems and retrain staff or face closure. And while I'd like to tell you an inspiring story about the underdog who proved them all wrong, I won't be. From my research, they appear to be permanently closed, which really is probably for the best. Employee of the Month This next food hygiene horror story comes from Redditor, not a Terminator, who explains his shocking experience as an assistant cook at an unspecified restaurant. Two weeks into the job, he went to grab a can of tomato sauce out of the cupboard, only to be greeted by, in his words, a huge-ass tarantula. Now, if it was me, I'd have run a mile, but not a Terminator decided to make his boss aware of this eight-legged lodger. After expressing his concern, the boss replied, Ah, I see you've met Eduardo. Yep, apparently, his boss kept the spider there as a means to warn off pests and rodents. And while I'm sure Eduardo was a hard worker, I'd definitely rather the restaurant I'm eating at not keep a tarantula in their cupboards. And if there's truth to the Redditor's tale, I'm pretty sure the Department of Health would agree. Horse Meat Scandal If you cast your mind back to 2013, you might recall the notorious scandal about grocery store meat being adulterated with horse meat. That's right, in parts of Europe, meat advertised as beef was found after investigations to contain as much as 100% of undeclared horse meat. On top of that, it was also confirmed that a smaller number of beef products actually contained pork, which from an ethical standpoint meant that several religious groups were likely to have been misled from their dietary requirements. Causing international outrage, the scandal affected almost everyone, from grocery stores to consumers, and from the meat industry to the wider economy. But where did the horse meat actually come from? Turns out investigators found Willie Selton, a Dutch meat wholesaler, guilty on accounts of forging invoices and labels, resulting in him selling 300 tons of horse meat labeled as beef. Selton insisted that the horse meat he supplied was only intended for pet food, but somehow ended up being used for burgers. 
While the naysayers aren't so quick to believe this alibi, it still remains unclear who is exactly to blame. Going forward, European governments promise stricter procedures requiring retailers and producers to publish meaningful tests on their meat. That said, according to the BBC, Willie was only sentenced to two and a half years in 2015. Meaning at the time of this video, he's probably back out there meddling with meat. Check your burgers, folks. Taco Taster I'll reluctantly admit it, Taco Bell is pretty tasty. And if I worked there, I'd find it hard not to eat the food myself. Turns out that one of their employees also felt the same. In a picture posted to Facebook in 2013, the employee can be seen licking a stack of those delicious taco shells. After the photo went viral, Taco Bell HQ unsurprisingly didn't see the funny side to the pic as they promptly suspended and subsequently fired the employee responsible. However, you might be pleased to know that these shells were not given to customers. In fact, they were headed for the garbage anyway. But when it comes down to it, Taco Bell have a brand to uphold, and licking tacos, well, that doesn't fit the brief. But this isn't the only gross thing to happen behind the counter of Taco Bell. Another former employee sealed his own fate in 2012 when he posted a picture on social media of him urinating onto a tray of nachos. In the end, this taco tinkler was dismissed from the restaurant, but there still remain so many questions. Like, if you ask me, that stream of pee looks a little off-center to be actually coming from his, you know, trouser snake, suggesting it might be juice coming from a bottle, which would be a somewhat pleasant relief. But whether it was a harmless prank or not, one thing's for sure, when employees are up to mischief, the Taco Bell shall soon toll for them. Secret Shoppers Ah, is there anything better than the enticing aroma of freshly baked goods? Croissants, pan au chocolat, cookies, who can resist? Well, after you see them being nibbled on by rodents, they're slightly less seductive. Yep, in 2021 at a Sainsbury supermarket in Essex Road, London, these rats seem to be enjoying their continental breakfast to the horror of onlookers. The captured video quickly caught the interest of the British public and Sainsbury's immediately took action, closing the store for a visit from the cleaners and pest control. Sainsbury's assured its customers that safety and hygiene is the most important thing to them. Though with that video in existence, I think it'll take a while to regain the public's trust. Ironically, the store recently rebranded their slogan to helping everyone eat better, which apparently includes rats too. But jokes aside, keeping the rodents at bay can be an impossible task. Some sources claim that in built-up areas, you're never more than 20 feet away from a rat. And with even the most defensive measures in place, where there's food, rodents are to be expected to some degree. In fact, US food law factors rodents into their sales safety legislation, with 11 rodent hairs allowed per 25 grams of paprika, four and a half hairs per 225 grams of noodles, and four hairs per 25 grams of curry powder, among others. So while I could give Sainsbury's the benefit of the doubt for their rat problem, I'll still think twice about buying unpackaged baked goods. That's not what I ordered. As horrifying as it is to find gross stuff in your food, in 2008, New Yorker John Agnesini found something totally unexpected inside his Subway sandwich. John was horrified when he tucked into his sandwich only to find a 7-inch knife baked into it. Luckily, John managed to spot the unsolicited sandwich filling before it did a number on his mouth. But while John wasn't wounded by the knife, its filthy plastic handle had partially melted into the sandwich, causing John to become violently ill for three hours. But how could this possibly have happened? Perhaps some half-asleep employee haphazardly misplaced their knife in John's sandwich? It's unclear whether this was a genuine mistake or a terrible practical joke, but either way, it seems John got the last laugh as he was awarded a hefty one million in compensation. Which, if you ask me, sounds totally worth the three hours of vomiting. Teriyaki Intruder By this point in the video, you probably realize rats love food. So much so that sometimes they become the food. Yep, in 2019, when Deyanira Cortez bought her daughter a portion of teriyaki chicken from the Ohio restaurant, Yihi Japan, she was horrified to realize that some of the chicken was actually a baby rat. Dianira's daughter's friend, who spotted the teriyaki intruder, immediately went to the bathroom to vomit and lost her appetite for days. Take a look at the clip. I think you might just feel the same. Esto es increíble. Miren lo que acabo de encontrar aquí en esto. Una rata cocinada. Oh my God, qué asquerosidad. 
Mira, está cocinada. La cara, oh my God. ¿Ya vieron? You. No. This cooked rat rests in pieces in the meal, and just seeing its severed body and exposed guts is enough to put anybody off teriyaki chicken for life. After taking to social media to warn people about the Japanese restaurant, Deyanira's viral video prompted health officials to inspect and subsequently close the Ohio restaurant. Ironically, they failed to find any further evidence of rodents in the building, though they did spot flies, cockroaches, and sewage backing up through the floor drains. I'm not sure which is worse, the cooked rat or the presence of poop in the kitchen where they were cooking the rats. Let me know what you think in the comments. Filthy Chinese Restaurant Yet that last story didn't convince you that restaurants don't always have the cleanest kitchens, then this next one definitely will. In 2015, deep cleaner William Panzino uploaded a video tour of a grimy restaurant in Littleton, New Hampshire, called Asian Garden. Having cleaned this kitchen just three months prior to the video, Panzino was certainly unimpressed to say the least. This is the Asian Garden in New Hampshire, Littleton, New Hampshire. You guys like Chinese food? This is how it's prepped right here. Look what goes up in the filters. This restaurant was cleaned by us three months ago and this is what it's done in three months. See all that? All the grease there dripping? Yeah, doesn't that look delicious? Yeah. You got carrots and beef and all that other crap. They've got meat with your vegetables and they set the pan on top of the meat. They, they serve you this. Cross contamination right there, that's against the law. There's the wall. And over here, where they prep your sugars and salts and more of your sauces. How'd you like a little extra protein? Look at this. Is it so hard to clean once in a while? What do we got under here? Or do I dare move it? Oh, I can't even, oh, there we go, mmm. The whole kitchen is coated with grime and dripping grease due to a lack of regular basic cleaning alongside intense cooking with oil. As you may know, oil isn't water soluble, so when it evaporates, it creates a thin layer of grease wherever it comes into contact. This sticky residue then invites dust, dirt, and bacteria to stick to it, which left unclean can result in some extremely vile states like this. Look at the handle. It's just an example of their amazing hygiene. These are your clean dishes, well, what they call clean. Look what's above them. You see all this right here? This your pipe has crap all over it falling right into your dishes. You see right there? All that. It falls right onto your dishes and you eat it. Repulsed by the state of the kitchen, William posted the video online, which has since accumulated over three million views. And as expected, many were quick to express their disgust at the restaurant's hygiene standards. One user even wrote, I'm on a diet right now. I'm gonna watch this video every time I have the urge to eat unhealthy. So far, it's worked like a charm. Ha, <laughs> I might just have to give that a try. The Centipede and the Scorpion For most, it's a pretty standard procedure to wash fruit and veg before eating it. What with it being grown outdoors, who knows how many germs could be lurking, right? Or scorpions and centipedes, for that matter. One person in 2019 came across these aforementioned creepy crawlies and their long-sought fruit and shared the cringeworthy footage of them scuttling about. Safe to say, I wouldn't be in the mood for a long sat fruit after seeing that. This video was posted anonymously, so there's little information available. But what I can tell you is long sat fruit and scorpions are pretty common in the Philippines. So if you're in the area, I'd wash my fruit very thoroughly if I were you. Cheddar Chomper Who doesn't love a little try before you buy? This rat, minding his own business, trying a little bit of cheese before he takes it to the checkout to pay for it, certainly seems to. Christopher Allison, who filmed this clip, is probably more of a buy now, try later kind of guy, as he decided to rat this little shopper out when he saw him chomping some cheese in an Illinois Food for Less store in 2019. Look at that. 
We got a rat eating cheese and oh. food for less. While Christopher maintained a lighthearted attitude about the situation, Food for Less weren't so lax and made it known that they dealt with the issue at hand by destroying the affected goods, sanitizing the display, and of course having this unwelcome shopper escorted out of the building. Aw, they didn't even give him a chance to pay. KFC's secret ingredient? Ah, KFC, famed for its uniquely delicious taste. Legend has it that the secret KFC formula is made up of 11 top secret herbs and spices, but maybe their unique flavor is attributed to something entirely different. In 2013, one KFC employee was pictured licking some of their delicious mashed potatoes, which leads me to think, is this what gives their food that special zing? <laughs> I'm just playing around. But with this picture in mind, who knows what other revolting shenanigans go on behind the counter. That said, KFC did clarify that nothing is more important to KFC than food safety. The employee involved was immediately terminated. So yeah, perhaps licking the food isn't the special ingredient. Or maybe it is, and anyone who reveals that fact gets terminated. I'd better watch my back, in case the colonel cometh. Burger King Creepers Back in 2018, a Burger King franchise came under fire for having a rat-infested kitchen, and it was bad. Upon inspection, live rats were found and they laid a few big whoppers of their own in the burger buns, dry storage, and even the ice machines. Chantel Johnson, an employee of the store, came face to face with the new employees and decided to capture this short clip of the moment. So, a baby. Gross, right? And I can't help but wonder just how long these guys were here, or even worse, how many more burger buns they snuggled themselves into. The video went viral and the fast food chain made sure to react quick. After Chantel had encouraged people to not eat at the restaurant, the premises closed for three days to ensure everything was spick and span, ready to welcome back hungry customers and hopefully not hungry rats. Uber Eats for All One of the greatest triumphs of mankind undoubtedly is the rise of food delivery services, such as Uber Eats. It's never been so easy to have your favorite meals delivered to your doorstep, or rather, some of your favorite meal. Let me explain. It turns out you shouldn't be too trusting of the person delivering your food. In 2021, TikTok creator at Sarah from Florida shared a video showing an Uber Eats employee tucking into a customer's food and piling it up in his own little doggy bag before packaging the rest back up for delivery. Shockingly, the employee loads his own Tupperware box, seals all the packaging back up, hops on his bike, and gets on with delivering the food to the customer, who was probably waiting excitedly, unaware of who tucked into their food first. This sly guy didn't go unpunished though. In fact, it was later reported that he was fired, which considering those sticky fingers of his shouldn't come as any surprise. More concerning though is how many other delivery employees are out there doing this, flying under the radar, yet to be caught. Could you be getting a half-size portion? Maybe so, but on the bright side, it could be worse. After all, if I were a delivery driver, well, I hate to break it to you, but there would be nothing left to deliver. <laughs> Hairy Mouthful Now this next story is one that just keeps getting worse as it goes along, and is not for the faint of heart. You've been warned. It comes from Redditor Wombles Mama and begins with her uncle, a health inspector in Australia. He received reports of a fish and chip shop that was apparently very dirty and serving food with chunks of hair in it. He went and inspected the restaurant unannounced only to be greeted by the owner, a very hairy and sweaty man wearing a t-shirt, shorts, and no shoes. Her uncle concluded that the source of hair must have been coming from the cook and advised him to wear proper garments. He also suggested changing the oil in the fryer as it was filthy and likely contaminated with all his hair. So the cook got to draining the oil right away while Wombles' uncle was still present, only to find something he'd misplaced a while back. His cat. That's right, his dead, deep fried, and crispy cat, as Wombles' mama so eloquently described it. And the cook's reaction? Oh, that's where my cat went. You don't say. 
The Redditor concluded by clarifying that the hair people had been finding in their food wasn't the man's, but in her own words, the fur and flesh of a dead cat. Yep, some pretty heavy stuff. Just be grateful you're not one of the poor people who had complained about those mysterious clumps of hair in their food. Truly the stuff of nightmares. McButts. It's out with, I'm loving it, and end with, I'm scratching it. In 2016, this McDonald's employee was caught butt-handed while preparing a customer's order, and the customer made sure to capture the moment. TikToker at Relikiss has since removed the clip. However, in the original post titled McNasty, you can clearly see this employee having a good old rummage around down there. Um, excuse me, ma'am, can I get my large fry? Uh, okay. The guy interrupts her while she's in the zone, and she's clearly not happy. As soon as her hand resurfaces from her rear end, she grabs some fries and hands them to the guy with the same hand. Yuck! Looks like this employee could have used an extra tool for the job. Butt scratcher! Butt scratcher! Butt scratcher! So anyway, what did McDonald's have to say about all this? They stated, These videos clearly do not reflect expectations McDonald's and our franchisees have of crew members, and we deeply regret the concern they have caused. So clearly having a rummage around in your undercarriage isn't part of their training program. So that's a relief, I guess. They say don't bite the hand that feeds you. And let me tell you, after seeing where that hand had been, I certainly won't. So did any of these revolting tales put you off certain foods for life? Or have you witnessed any gross food hygiene disasters of your own? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.